Hey guys, are demons real? Do they exist? And can they possess people? Well, some say that demons do not exist because people just have psychological problems. Well, let me tell you, these people have never encountered or experienced somebody that is demon-possessed, a Satanist or a real Satanic ritual. So let me make this very clear. Yes, there are a lot of people who have psychological problems. That's different. But there are also people who are demon-possessed. The devil is real and demons are real. This should not be taken lightly. How do I know this? Well, I grew up with it. For me, this is something that's very, very normal. So in this video, I'm going to share my story with you and I'm also going to show you some real footage of demon possession. I'm going to say this again. This is not something that you should take lightly. It is not a joke, but it is a real world that we live in. The world is not just physical, but spiritual. So before I start, I just want to pray for protection for me and also for you guys. So let's do it. God, I just ask for protection from you, for me, and also the people that's listening to this video right now. Protect us from all kinds of evil, from the devil or the attacks from any kind of demons. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, now before I start and just go into my story, I want to turn to the Bible very quickly just to share with you how the Bible warns us to be wary of demonic forces that is trying to corrupt and influence us. Now in James 2 verse 19, we read, You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. And then in James 4 verse 7, it says, Therefore submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And then in Luke 8 verse 1 to 2. Now it came to pass afterward that he went through every city and village, preaching and bringing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. Now listen to this. And certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons. And then if we turn to Luke 8 verse 30, here we go. Jesus asked him saying, what is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him. And then let's turn to Mark 3 verse 11. And the unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out saying, you are the son of God. Let's go to Matthew 10. And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. You see, there's a difference between diseases, sickness and evil spirits. Sometimes evil spirits can also cause sickness and disease as well. Now there's a lot more verses about demons, but let me just read to you one more and then we're going to continue with my story. Ephesians 6. This is very, very, very important. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Let's go here. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. All right, now I grew up in an atmosphere as a young boy where my father drove out a lot of demons in people, like this one. Now the video you just saw was where my dad prayed for a woman that used to be a Satanist, a very high-ranking Satanist. They used to call her the wife of the devil. And he prayed for her right next to my room, which was, well, his room was the study room and me and my brothers, we were just sleeping right next to that room. So he was praying for this woman a few times and also for other women and, and men as well that were demon-possessed. So this was something that was 
very normal for us. It's, it wasn't weird or strange for us to, weird, uh, to hear weird sounds that was not human. And I could clearly see the power of God because He always freed these people from demons if they really wanted to commit to Him and become a Christian. So for me, the world that I grew up in is a world where I clearly knew that God existed, but also that the devil is real. And demons are also real and they can possess people, but they're not stronger than God. I remember I had a friend over once, <laughs> I won't tell you his name, but we used to be really good friends uh, in primary school and he came over to visit and uh, he just felt uncomfortable. He just wanted to go home. I never really understood why because he never told me. So he went home, called his mom, and then years later, we went to the same high school. Um, and then he told me, Daniel, did you know that I was, I was afraid because of the woman that was there? And he explained to me, and I, I never knew. For me, this was normal life. For what, what was weird for me is when I went to a friend's house, and I would see he, their mom and dad screaming at each other, cursing at each other. For me, this was weird because my mom and dad never did it. So I was really blessed to have two good parents, good examples of parents of how they loved each other, how they treated each other in love and forgiveness and, and even other people with love and compassion as well. Anyway, let me quickly go back to this woman. So she grew up in Satanism, right? And to grow up in Satanism, it's a sick world. And uh, you go through many kind of rituals to achieve certain ranks in Satanism. Things like, uh, for example, they threw knives at her and she had to call the demons by name to let the, the knives drop to the floor and not hit her and kill her. There's a lot of more sick stuff. I'll get into that a little bit later. But don't play around with Satanism or demons. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Most movies and TV series today are trying to make witches and priests and all of this stuff make them look cool even the devil himself they try to let them look kind of cool and interesting and weird let you let me warn you the real world is nothing like tv series or movies devil and demons have no love for humans you're only an object for them and they hate you with everything they've got now, satanists also do a lot of sick rituals sometimes um, with animals, like yes, your cute pet at home, cat or, or dog, they do the sick rituals with them. And even sometimes people, they kill people and sacrifice them for very strong demons or the devil. So in the same way that Christians pray to God for love and peace and for the world, Satanists pray to the devil for the opposite. But apart from Satanism, people can also get demons inside of them by doing certain sin. Sin is what gives access to demons. And demons have different personalities, they have different ranks and well let me just quickly explain something. For example, the personalities are very different. Some of them are very quiet and, and very intense and some are even like joking around. It, they vary in personality. Also their ranks, you know like you have in the police where you have a lieutenant, corporal, captain, all these things. The same kind of way in, with demons. They differ in rank depending on the power that they have. Now they are very clever to deceive people. Most of who or what demons are can also be checked in the Bible. And it also shows us how you can really fight demons the right way through Jesus Christ. You cannot do it on your own because we can't. We only can fight them because Jesus Christ gave us the authority to rebuke the devil and it says that he will flee from you. But only real reborn Christians can do it who have the Holy Spirit in them. Now the devil, it's very important to know that, it, that the devil already lost. But now he still hates us humans because we are made in the image of God. But God gave us the right to rebuke the devil in Jesus' name and he will flee. But some of us don't do it. And then we have to deal with the consequences of not asking, number one, for God for protection and not rebuking the devil. But the devil hates us and all the demons of everything they got. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And then verse 9 says, Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by a brotherhood in the world. Now, if you're a real Christian, you do not need to fear the devil, because number one, Fear does not come from God. Number two, 
God is always with you. If you're a real Christian, all you can do is just pray and say, God, I ask for protection. Protect me from all kinds of evil attacks from the devil and the demons. And you can rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. Just say, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you, devil, or any comes of demons. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go away from me. You have no power over me. And the Bible says, he will flee from you. And if you're not a Christian, I urge you, get to know Jesus. Seek Him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Because He is the answer to all your problems. Now, if you have any other questions, ask it in the comment section below. And I'll see if I can make a video about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next video. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. See you next time. Bye. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to